You know, so I didn't know I was black until I came to America. Like, that was not part of my vocabulary, to call myself a black woman or a black person. So I come to America, I'm in class, they're telling me I'm black, um, Martin Luther King, all the things. They start talking about Liberia, everybody turns around like, oh, you're from Liberia, right? And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> um, so you just, for me, it was like coming to another country and then I was given an identity that I have to take on. So I constantly have to, one, I'm not black American because that's a whole different culture. I'm Liberian. My household is Liberian. We eat Liberian food. The way we talk, we talk with colloquial, which is like, it's like Patois. Um, so it's always this like identity crisis. I'm like, I'm not, and we say this all, like I'm not Liberian enough. I'm not American enough. I'm not black American enough because I don't fit in any of those boxes because I've had to learn these identities and like take them on as I grow up. Um, so the division is that, it's like, I'm not black American. That's not my culture. I don't do the things that black Americans do. I do now, like, of course, like going to college, going to a HBCU and all of that, like, I have been, I've been a part of the culture, but that's not my culture. And I appreciate the culture and I live it. But I think that was that thing, it's like, you don't wanna lose your identity, um, but when you come to America, you're expected to like take on this one identity, which is, your blackness. And then the blackness is like your whole world. And everything you do has to revolve around your blackness. And that was very strange for me because I grew up with black people on the billboards, on the bills, on, on our money, on TV, like everything, everyone's black, right? So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm a black woman now and y'all don't like me, thank you. Like, so it was very interesting to, um, to experience. But yeah, that division is definitely just trying to keep your own culture. It's like, I'm not black American. I don't think it's out of like spite, but it's, yeah, when you go into America, it's like everyone's just in one group. Like everyone's the same. But also, right, I can't, if a cop pulls me over, I can't be like, I'm sorry, I'm a librarian. I'm not black American. You don't, you don't have to treat me like that. Like no one fucking cares. So it was also learning like, it's okay, I am black. That's what I am. And it's not a bad thing. Cause some Africans do like, don't want that uh, label put on them, but I mean, it's fact, like I am a black woman, so I'm not mad at it. But when it comes to like culture and like the food that I eat and how I grew up, very much so Liberian. I live in Liberia, just a house in America. That's what it feels like for me.